this video is more or less I'm just posting an off video and you guys can tell me or you can even hit up the comment section about this is it just me or did the digital age destroy a way of destroy us meaning making us more prone to laziness uh, you can tell me in a way I do believe it did in some ways it didn't there's a, it's kind of a controversial type of topic because there are ways to earn money on your phone with what I posted with my last video that's a good thing that's a positive outcome my only other thing is um, social media some of the stuff in the social media that's lazy I mean like some of some of some of it's you know dramatic overdrawn and, and complete utter bullshit so I also believe or a lot of people may disagree that's fine I understand that but a lot of people may disagree with this I agree I think electric bikes that's another thing I think that's a la way of laziness if you are not to me that the one thing is, if you have a disability, you have something wrong with your legs, where you can't actually physically pedal a bike, then that's fine. You can ride electric bike. I don't agree with electric bikes, but and the only other thing with the electric bikes, um, I believe you should be old. At that time, you burn your retirement. They say. Medical issues happen when you get old, right? Your joints start to mess up and everything. Stuff happens. You get pains. That's another thing I believe you can do. But at the same time, as long as your legs are physically functional and you have hand-eye coordination, go out there and get there and ride a bike. The only other reason I say the digital age of these things has destroyed millennials. They're on them 24 fucking 7. And I, here's the thing. I'm not being mad, rude about it. But there are people my age, parents my age, I'm 30 years old, condoling it. They're, they can't handle their own fucking anxiety or their own problems. So the, well, this is what we do as parents. I'm not a parent. But at the same time, I put this in place because I know how to put logic to Talk logic to what I'm saying. There you go, son. Yeah, yeah. We take away our problems to give them to our children. So, uh, some people. I'm not going to say everybody. I can't speak for anybody because I'm not a parent. But at the same time, I know what it's like. So, me personally, growing up, I didn't have much. I didn't have this. I didn't have the TV. I was lucky to have a CD player. And that came later after I was already using a Sony Walkman. Nothing. We had nothing. We were poverty stricken. Grew up on no, nothing. So what I did for fun, I got out. I went and did things. i go play. And then i fucking like, if I would, I'd fall down, I'd get up. I rub dirt in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Whatever happened to that? I I just I'm lost. I'm lost without a cause. It's Fourth of July, man. You know, here's the thing. We would build forts. We would do things. We wouldn't complain when we got hurt. I don't know how that happened. I guess we were warriors back then. Um, but you know what I do today? I still get out. I still do stuff. Today, I use this axe, right? This is this, this little girdler axe. I chopped the shit out of maybe, I want to say 15 pounds of wood. That's so I can go camping by myself. That is me. I don't have any problem with work ethic. But these things in front of us are creating a way of laziness. A way to get out. Is I'm, I'm agreeing with my own self. My phone is a distraction. The, one, the thing in front of me, that thing over there in the corner, a TV, smart TV, distraction.
I just, I'm not against people that want to be lazy. If you earn it. You're, it doesn't say you're physically disabled. Or, or, or retired. Those people have earned their lifestyle of couch potato living. And that's just why I, I well, well, I'm kind of blunt, so I, I say how I see it. If you've earned something in life, you've had to get there with hard work, dedication to what you were doing prior to what you have now. I, I said it just two seconds ago. I never had any of this stuff. All my pocket knives, all this stuff. You know, I have a bunch of different, like, tools and stuff. I worked hard to earn every single last penny. If I can find a way online, if I can find uh, something to do, maybe go out and take it to the community and say, hey, you need help with something. I'm strong. I can do stuff for you for cash. You know, a, lot of, a lot of people think that's weird, but my work ethic is flawless. I don't stop until I'm finished. Uh, I'm really good at what anything I do. Anything I don't know how to do, I am a very adaptive learner. So, you know, I have a lot of stuff. That stuff doesn't define the person I am. Though. I just, I'm confused with how millennials think these devices are actually helping us. I'm going to say half and half, weighing the scales. Because they do help some ways. This is how I earn a living. But I found an inch in the system, and I do a shit ton. I literally work 17 hours a day uh, on everything I do. And it's not as easy as people love to believe it is. There's a lot of ins and outs. There's a lot of hard things you have to realize what you're doing to actually earn the money. And in and, and the sake that jobs, I would say jobs are a lot better because you get hours and you work a whole day. My job is a lot harder to understand. So if you don't have the mental capacity or the knowledge to keep up with what you're doing while doing the earning apps, you'll shut down. You'll, you'll fr get frustrated. You'll stop doing it. That's something um, I've actually learned in the past, but now that I've found my way out, I prefer doing it over anything. So I'm making twenty-seven seventy-seven an hour. That's uh seven hundred and thirty-one dollars a day. I've saved most of that for the last eight years. And eight years is actually how long I've been earning. I'm not gonna go into details of the math, but you can get where I'm at today if you follow certain steps. I will be posting certain videos on how to make money. I'm not going to give any promises, but I will show you the legitimate ones. And if you have an application that you want me to test out for you, I will 100% test out. Because I know there's a lot of them on there. That are looking like skeptical. You look skeptical at them. You look like you see all these pull ups, all this money coming into the application. There are a lot of those that are actually real, I found out, but they don't pay real money. They pay in like these token denominations that go to gift cards. So I just want to say that this day and age, if you have a child, you're my age. I'm 30. Tell, go out and help him. Get Help him, her. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm giving you the best advice I can give. If you have somebody that you think can do something, get work ethic, let, let's get our children to do some hard work, some labor. I like seeing it, too. But at the same time, I'm not a parent, so I can't tell you what to do. I'm just giving you advice. It would be a lot better if our children started being more with work ethic. We'll have these. We'll, always, we'll have these around. We'll have these devices around for a long time. That's not the point. What I'm trying to say is don't don't really like, you know, don't, don't let them have it right away. I really never had anything. 
but don't, it's not what I'm telling you. It's more or less what I'm saying. Um, I, I have a better mentality. Some people have different ideas, but at the same time, it's a good thing when someone works for what they get. That's my theory on that. Okay, you guys, if you have a, if you happen to like this video, please like. Hit the notification bell. I'm going to do some more videos here and there. Um, they might be day in, day out. But um, feel free to like and subscribe and share my videos. Helping the YouTube algorithm and um, post them to your friends and family too. I I basically lost 10,000 subscribers in my last channel so um, due to medical misinformation. So that's okay. All right. Have a good night.